I wonder where Kendra could be, Livy thought as she put on her backpack and headed out the door. You should probably go and look for her, you know, her dad replied as he pulled out of the driveway. Livy nodded her head and plugged in her headphones and listened to music until they arrived at her dad's office. Maybe I left Kendra in your office, Dad, Livy called over the sound of her dad's answering machine going off. She searched but couldn't find any clues until there was a knock at the door and her friend Stephanie arrived. Hey, Stephanie, Livy shouted. She pulled up a chair and started chewing some gum. Where's your cube thingy? Stephanie asked. Livy shrugged and pulled out her binder to start working on her math homework. Stephanie clacked a few keys on the keyboard and began watching a video called Desperate Housewives in the Wild. Spoiler alert, Livy said. Nancy Drew says it's locked so many times that everyone drops dead and she wins. Thanks a lot, replied Stephanie sarcastically, clicking to another video. She names her neighbor's cat Stefano, Livy blurted. Stephanie mumbled angrily, closed the window, and began playing the impossible quiz. Four, no but a tin can, hammer time, blue, orange, green, green, yellow, click the V in live. Will you shut up? Stephanie screamed. Okay, sheesh, Livy whispered quietly. Snape killed Dumbledore! Livy screeched and ran out of the office with a furious Stephanie sprinting behind her. By this time, I had made it to a bus driver's house and had hopped on with Felix. On the ride to the high school where the office was, I felt I had to tell Felix my secret. While we were on the journey, I had developed a huge crush on Felix. Dun, dun, dun! Hey, Felix, I called shyly. Yeah, Felix replied. I think I, I think I, you what? I think I like you, Felix. Well, I like you too, Kendra. But I like, like, like you, Felix. Felix made a little humph <laughs> noise and replied, I have been waiting to tell you that since you and I first met. We inched closer and closer together. You could feel the tension in the air. I could feel his breath on my face. There you are, Kendra! Livy called as she snatched me up. She was breathing hard as if she had been running. She plopped into her seat, but didn't bother to pick up Felix. He sat in the back of the bus as Livy hopped off at the school. As we slowly separated, so did the two halves of my heart. Will Kendra ever see Felix again? Will Stephanie still be mad at Livy? Will Felix survive without Kendra? Will Kendra go looking for Felix? Will Ian's mom ever catch Mew? All the answers to that and more, except for the last one, because idiocy is hereditary, on the next installment of The Adventures of Kendra the Companion Cube.